All right, Shalom. All uh, praise and glory and honor goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And as always, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is uh, another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, <clears throat> I have a, a rather quick article. But nonetheless, uh, a major move in uh, prophecy is being made right now. Uh, of course, it, as you can see in the image, it's, it's, it's dealing with this uh, the uh, president of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. And uh, he's basically, uh, he basically spoke his sentiments uh, and his, uh, his um, you know, viewpoints. On the European Union, and um, his group them together with Russia and China as uh, enemies and foes. Okay. Um, now the reason this links up with with uh, prophecy is because the scripture states that the uh, the allies. Well, first of all, it states that uh, Satan's kingdom, which we understand that Satan's is. Um, the spiritual demon Satan has a counterpart in the earth and the people, which we know as uh, the Edomites or so-called Caucasian or white people. All right. They are the Edomites. According to the Bible, they are the, 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 the devil and the deceivers in the earth. And um, the scripture states that the devil and Satan's kingdom will be divided. Now, EU... And Russia as well, these are all Edomite ran nations. All of them are, are, are governed and led by other so called white people. So, we can, so even the fact that Russia and the U.S. have enmity for each other, that shows Satan kingdom, Satan's kingdom is divided. But now I see the further being divided, all right, because you have an, the allies of, of, of America, which is the EU, the European Union. Uh, which includes England, of course, Germany, France, uh, Italy, and other countries over there in, in Europe. They're the uh, allies of America. <clears throat> and most of them also make up uh, NATO, all right, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. So now we have in this article, we are here, we see that, D that Donald Trump, right, is calling them foes. So the headline reads, Trump adds EU to list of foes alongside China and Russia. So now the European Union, America's own allies, are its enemies. Okay? And prophecy states that the, uh, the, the, allied, the allies of Babylon, okay, also known as the Ten Toes, all right, and the Beast, all right, the Fourth Beast, they were going to, to basically come against each other. All right? So before I read this very short article, I'm going to read the prophecy. This is Daniel chapter 2, verse uh, verse 40. And I'm going to read through. All right, it says, And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces, and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all these shall break it, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Now this verse is talking about the rise of the Roman Empire over all the other empires and how it took over d different provinces through its military force. Okay. Verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. So this fourth kingdom, this fourth beast, which is the Roman empire is to be divided. And that happened back in the Roman empire. But there was a point in history when the Roman Empire was revived again, and that was during the time of the Renaissance, also known as um, the uh, 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 Manifest Destiny, okay, of uh, Esau, so-called white man, Spain, uh, 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 Britain, France, all coming over here to this side of the world, uh, what's known as the West, conquer the Native American, Central American uh, Indians, Mainly, mainly the uh, the Native American Seminole Indians, and they declared this land America and established it as their home base. Okay. Uh, 
so in that revival, over the years have have come alliances with other European countries, which would lead to America and the EU being uh, allies with each other. But now the prophecy states that that kingdom shall be divided. So it's talking about this modern day kingdom, all right, of Esau, of these white people. Is They're divided now. You can clearly see from the article, right, where it says here, Trump adds EU, all right, other sovereign so-called white nations, all right, to list of foes alongside China and Russia, okay? So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with this prophecy coming to pass, all right? It says, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And that would be their military might. They, they have one thing in common, and it's that militarily they work together to so-called keep peace in the earth. But even that's being strained right now. All right. Verse 42 says, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be, uh, shall be partly strong and partly broken. And I just explained what that was. All right. It says, and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. All right. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. So this kingdom is, 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 is not going to cling to cleave to each other as allies as they once did. OK. So now we are seeing this part of that prophecy coming to pass to where now. The ten toes, all right, are not cleaving to each other, all right? And Trump has declared them enemies, all right? So back in the article, it says, President Trump is including the European Union, Union in his list of biggest global foes, telling CBS's Jeff Glor in a segment that airs on Face the Nation that he lumps EU trade issues alongside threats from China and Russia. Why it matters. The Europeans are, with the U.S., the core of the Western alliance. This is a break from tradition and comes right before Trump's summit with Vladimir Putin. Okay, and it goes into the transcript of what they say. But the point is, all right, this is what Trump said. All right, the European Union, the EU are now foes. Okay, now everything that entails, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll wait for other information articles and and different videos and reports and see what the spirit has to uh you know bring out on this topic but it's clear that this fourth beast which includes america because america came out of uh, uh england all right which would be a part of the eu part of the uh it was part of the pagan roman empire england was and it's also part of this new modern day roman empire known as uh the e the the eu and nato OK. So America is included. All right. And uh, they're they're basically coming against each other now. OK. Even within the European Union, they're uh, they're uh, coming against each other. OK. France, Germany, you know, certain countries are strong militarily, financially. Other countries like Spain and Portugal are weak. That's the kingdom being partly strong and partly broken. All right. Now, there's another prophecy in the book of Revelation, which I, I brought these scriptures out before in a previous video. When you go into the book of Revelation, the uh, 17th chapter, it goes into the beast. All right. It goes into the uh, ten, 10 horns or 10 toes, which both are, syno both are synonymous with each other. OK. But it says that they were going to hate the whore. All right, which the whore is America. All right, so I'm going to read it. This is Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, all right, which when you read the scriptures, it says that the, that the ten horns are ten kings, all right, ten kingdoms, all right. And, uh, and there's also the ten toes mentioned in Daniel, the second chapter, okay? S same prophecy seen by John the Revelator and the prophet Daniel, Okay. It says, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, that's NATO, all right, and the ten horns is the EU, these shall hate the whore, the whore is America, and we are starting to see that enmity and that hate start to brew up, okay, it's starting to brew up now, all right, 
<clears throat> and this is what Trump is doing. It says that he lumps EU trade issues alongside threats from China and Russia. So he's lumping them all together as foes and enemies. Okay. So we're in the end of America. We aren't in the last days. We are in the end times. Okay. The end of Esau's war. The end of the so-called white man's rulership. All right. And the prophecy states that America will be destroyed. And I'm going to read it. And I'm going to read who's going to destroy it. Verse 16. In Revelation uh, 17 and 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And that's the, the thermonuclear destructions, the ICBM that does, that does exist. They will destroy America. And this is all leading up to that point. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, Bashmi Kakwadash, Double One City Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone. That rule well. Hope I was edified. Um, uh, you know we're we're in that time, man. You know, uh, I just end on this last uh, couple statements, but but we are definitely in the end. Uh, World War Three is going to take place. Um, brothers that 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 uh, are watching these things, you know, we see the prophecies. We're almost home, man. You know. Don't get worked up about these uh, false prophets and these wicked men amongst Israel because the Lord, how about you, how is going to deal with them? All right. But we are to preach the gospel. OK. To teach and edify. And when, you know, the spirit wills it, of course, we rebuke and exhort. But like it says in second, there's ninth chapter, which I'll get it real quick. It says, uh, be not concerned with those, you know, just roughly paraphrasing. That the Lord is going to destroy, but this is, I believe, is around the thirteenth verse. This second is nine, right? Second is nine and thirteen, and therefore, it's like you. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, which we know that these guys are ungodly. All these other camps outside of Great Millstone, but you know we're not to be curious and worried about them. You know we, you know we warn them, and then that's it. The blood is off our hands. All right, it says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. And that's for the hopeful elect of Israel, which is which the elect of Israel will, will, will uh, uh, obtain it. All right, but we're seeing the end of this world uh, uh, approaching. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.